Hi, Anthony Lamb here with the Cisco Wireless Tech Team. Today, I want to present to you on what you need to know before upgrading your standalone C9800. In this video, I will be going through the checks that need to be performed before upgrading a standalone Catalyst 9800 WLC. Please note, if you have a HA pair and are looking to perform an upgrade via ISSU, please refer to the corresponding video on ISSU pre-upgrade checks, configuration changes, and known issues. In this video, I will be referring to the upgrade release version 17.9.4a, which is the current recommended release version. Cisco recommends that you always have the latest recommended version possible. If you go to cisco.com and search the Catalyst 9800, you will find the recommended release version. This document is live and is continuously being updated by Cisco. Before upgrading, it is important to check the recommended pathways to upgrading the WLC. Upgrading to a recent release may require you to update to an interim release. So once you have selected a target version for the upgrade, in the release notes, refer to Table 13, Upgrade Path, to find your pathway. As of the making of this video, 17.9.4a is recommended and the upgrade path to that version is shown in this table. Please pause here to view what version you are running and how to get to the latest recommended version. All Cisco 9800 WLCs will support the latest software version. However, support for different hosting environments will depend on different releases. So in the release notes on table eight, please review this to ensure that the C9800 cloud form factor and hosting environments are supported. Another important thing to check before upgrading your WLC to the latest recommended release is to ensure that all APs used in your enterprise are supported. Please refer to the support APs list in the release notes. Additionally, in the release notes, please familiarize yourself with the before you upgrade section. This will list any known issues and configuration changes that you should be aware of prior to upgrading. Be sure that you read and understand them before starting your upgrade to avoid any problems. Now, let's talk about some pre-checks on the Catalyst 9800 that we need to do before upgrading. It is important that you have enough space on your flash drive. Issues will arise if you do not have enough disk space. To check how much space your flash drive has, in exec mode, run show flash. Other methods include manually removing any logs or TXT files created as part of the deployment or troubleshooting of the Catalyst 9800. Or to remove older software images not currently in use, the command to clean old images from the controls flash is in exec mode, run, install, remove, inactive. And this will show you a list of all images stored on the controller. Type Y and enter to confirm, and it will delete all the old images. A side note, if you have already uploaded the target release prior to running this command, it will get deleted as well, as the image has not been applied yet. You can just re-upload the image to the Catalyst 9800 flash. Upgrading to a certain release requires ROMOM and physical firmware to be upgraded. We need to ensure that our ROMOM and Ethernet physical firmware version is supported by our target release version. Please be sure to review the Upgrading Fields Programmable Hardware Devices for Cisco Catalyst 9800 Series Wireless Controllers Documentation or the video titled 9800 WLC ROMOM Upgrade to identify if the firmware upgraded is needed. There are two types of installation methods, install and bundle. When the binary .bin is used as a boot variable, it will operate in bundle mode, meaning the entire binary file is loaded up at boot and then the extracted image is loaded into RAM, which will result in longer boot times and higher RAM usage. However, in install mode, the binary is split into smaller PKG files with the provisioning files called package.com. The package.com will orchestrate how each PKG file will be used during boot up, and since the image is already extracted onto flash, this will result in a shorter boot time and reduced RAM usage. Therefore, install mode is the recommended installation mode for all iOS XE platforms, including the Catalyst 9800. To verify the current installation mode, please run show version pipe include install. If the Catalyst 9800 is in bundle mode, you have both the GUI or the CLI option to move it to install mode. Okay, let's open the GUI and let's sign in with our username and password. Now, let's click on Administrator and Software Management. From here, we can see we're currently on bundle mode. Let's change the upgrade mode from bundle to install. And since I already have the binary on my boot flash, I will select it, click Download and Install, and click Yes to confirm. This will go through the process of extracting the binary files into smaller PKG files. After the Catalyst 9800 reloads, we can log back in and check our installation mode. 
as you can see, we are now on install mode. Now, onto the CLI. If we type in show boot, we can see our boot variable uses the binary. And if we just type in show version pipe include install, we can see our installation mode is bundle. To change this, we enter configuration terminal, type no boot system to clear out our boot variable, save, and then configure packages.conf as our new boot variable by typing in boot system flash flash colon packages.conf and save. If we now type show boot again, we can see that packages.conf is our new boot variable. Now let's go ahead and unpackage the binary files. Now we can type install add file flash the binary name, activate and commit. The extraction will now take place. If we pause and take a look here, we can see that the PKG files have been extracted and it will require a reload. After the reload, if we type in show version pipe include system image pipe install, we can now see that we are using packages.conf and our installation mode is installed. Once all the checks have been performed, you can proceed to upgrade the standalone Catalyst 9800. Steps to upgrade with the least amount of downtime using AP pre-download options is covered in the video titled Understanding Cisco Catalyst 9800 Wireless Controllers AP Pre-Downloads. This ends the Before You Upgrade and Upgrade Best Practice video. Remember, you can access the Cisco Video Library for more useful short videos. And thanks for watching.